If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Born in Boston by the name of Alice Cohen. She recently slipped on a piece of prosciutto at Italy in Boston, fractured her left ankle. She and her husband now suing Italy for not properly cleaning the floor, seeking $50,000 in damages. I have broken my foot tripping on a rotten KFC corn on the cob in the street, and I hope she wins the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, it's the cleanup thing. I, there's a lot of insurance jobs out there. Mm-hmm. Is prosciutto particularly slippery? I don't know. I don't think so. Is that like one of the items you can throw in Mario Kart? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Throw <out> some prosciutto. <laughs> very good. Uh, TikTok user by the name of Liv, she suffered a very embarrassing fail. She wanted to get revenge on her cheating ex by redeeming, <laughs> this is very American, all the rewards points on their shared 7-Eleven loyalty card. Oh, God. So Listen, I tell you, I'm there every I'm there five or six days a week. And you don't get that many points. <laughs> but apparently, because they were using the same number together that the whole time, they had racked up quite the amount to the point where she could get herself a free pizza. <laughs> wow. So she's like, hey, I, I actually am going to get revenge on my uh, my uh, ex. I'm going to take all the points by getting a free pizza because they love the pizza. It's the 7-Eleven. Uh, they're like, all right. I'd rather we- have the pizza than the sushi. That's uh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I got food poisoning from Walgreens sushi one time. Mm. Do not suggest. <laughs> yeah. uh, that said, uh, the, the employees there were like, all right, well, you need to make sure you have the 7-Eleven or 7 Rewards app. And they're like, okay, cool. So she signs up to get the Rewards app using the phone number, and then it texts the phone number to get the confirmation code oh to make gosh. it, and it texted him. him. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> That's terrible. He, You know, he looked at it, he's like, Loser. Still not over. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and she had to pay for the pizza. What a shame. Hey, Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning returning to the University of Tennessee. He was a uh, four season uh, quarterback for the Volunteers, uh, graduated in 1997. He is going to be teaching sports reporting, video production, leadership, communication, and public speaking. I love that. I love it. I think he's one of the best. I honestly, if there was a celebrity, like I hated him in, in, in the NFL because it was always Brady versus Manning. I was a Brady guy for sure, but he is definitely like a man of the people. Mm-hmm. Peyton Manning, if I ever met him, I'm assuming I would not be disappointed. Yeah, that's seems- how I was with with Eli and Saquon. I mean, when when Jaden got to meet them, it was like they were so great. I think the Mannings as a whole family. I mean, they they grew up knowing how to like handle the public and and media and things like that. So, yeah. yeah. How much did your wedding cost? I have no idea. How long did it take? I think maybe maybe a year to plan. Oh, boy. Uh, well, if you want to save time and probably a lot of money, Bush Light is hosting the fastest wedding ever at Las Vegas Motor Speedway on October 15th. Wow. It's going to be during a NASCAR playoff race. The ceremony is going to take place in under 15 seconds. <laughs> oh, like the play or the wedding, like the, the cer- actual ceremony. Wow. It's going to be like, <laughs> that's so cool. I love that. It, I- I think, honestly, um, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, low-key, has some of the coolest promotions. They really do. Yeah. And I just wish and I just wish it was closer. closer I'm a lot yeah. closer than you are, but it's still, like, There's a no way it could be me. that loud and be close to any home. I know. So, yeah. I know. But it's it's such an awesome, really cool place. I, I love Las Vegas Motor I, Speedway. I liked my wedding a lot. If I, if I were ever to do it one more time, though, I would want to do a gimmick wedding. Wienermobile. Denny's or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it quite a, just so you could say it is different than right, yours. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. A uh, man in Sydney, Australia, he um, wanted to feel the pain that his lovely, lovely bride has. Uh, she is uh, well endowed, mm-hmm. we'll put it that way. So in order to feel her pain, he stuffed 39 pancakes into a sports bra and tried to go through the day. Uh, he had difficulties running and putting on a seat belt, and he admitted oh, that gosh. having a large chest is not easy at the end of it. <laughs> wow. Uh, finally, a study from a university in England finds that... Uh, now, who do you think says I love you first, the man or the woman? Mm, I guess it all depends. I, I don't... On average. I, I, 50-50. Just barely men. Just barely men. On average, men say the special words after uh, three and a half months. Women tend to wait four months. Men start thinking about saying it after two and a quarter months, women 
two and a half months. So we are in the love zone a little sooner. Hmm. I remember the first girl that ever kissed me. Mm -hmm. I immediately dropped the love word <laughs> on her. I didn't know. I was like, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you. That lasted two weeks. <laughs>